All right then gang, now we have a fully functional notify provider with some initial state and two methods to update that state. Now what I'd like to do is show you how to generate notify providers using the Riverpod generator. And to do that, we'll be just editing this current code that we already have. The first thing we'll do though is delete the actual provider down here because that's what Riverpod's gonna generate for us, the provider. So we don't need that anymore. Next up, we're gonna add the Riverpod annotation import at the top of the file because we need to use that at Riverpod annotation to tell Riverpod we want it to generate a provider for us based on some code. We can also delete the other Flutter Riverpod import now that we have this, we don't need both. And then if we look back at where we generated the simple read only providers, you can see that we said at Riverpod, right? And then underneath that, we made a function that returned a value. So that was to generate a simple read only provider. When we wanna generate a notifier provider, we have to still say at Riverpod, but then we have to follow that up with a class this time, not a function. So we already have a class here, so we just need to add the at Riverpod annotation above it. Now the class itself, I would still call cart notifier because Riverpod uses this class name to make up the provider name by just adding provider at the end of it. So when it generates it, it's gonna call it cart notifier provider and cart will be with a lowercase c by the way, it won't use an uppercase c like this. The only other thing that needs to change is what we extend. So instead of extending notifier, we extend a special class that Riverpod is gonna generate for us so it doesn't actually exist yet. And it's still gonna be some form of notifier, but the name of that class always has to be underscore, then a dollar sign, followed by the actual class name right here. In our case, that's cart notifier. Now this might look a little bit odd and you might get an error, but the error is only because the class doesn't exist yet, like I just said, and Riverpod hasn't generated it for us yet. That's pretty much it. We've now done everything we need to. And when we run the build runner command, it's gonna generate a notifier provider for us based on this class. It's also gonna generate this class for us right here, which will just be in itself some form of notifier class. The only other thing I'm gonna do right now is change this initial state right here to be an empty set to begin with. So we can start off with an empty cart when we first load the application. All right, so now we wanna generate this, but before we do, let me just paste something in very quickly. So we've seen this before, it's parts and then a path to a file name, which is exactly the same as this, but with a .g at the end of it right here to say this is gonna be a generated file. This is the file that the Riverpod generator is gonna create for us. And we're saying that, look, this is a part of that file essentially. So I can save this and it's gonna automatically build it for me because I use that watch command, first of all, up here when we said dart run build underscore runner watch. So I don't have to run this again because of that watch thing right here. So if you don't have this running, make sure you run that first of all. I'm gonna save it now and hopefully everything will work. You can see the errors went away and that's because now a river pod has done its thing and we can see that extra file over here, cart provider.g.dart. And we can see in here, it's generated the cart notifier provider for us, but also, it's created this for us. It says type definition, and then this thing, underscore dollar sign cart notifier, and that is a notifier in itself. And we pass in these as the type because this is a generic right here, okay? So it's taken our data type and it's created a notifier with that data type, awesome. All right, so we don't actually need to do anything else because the provider name hasn't changed. It's still cart notifier provider. If we take a look at that file again, you can see right here, it's cart notifier provider, and that's exactly what we access inside the cart. If I go to the cart screen, we can see we say cart notifier provider right here. So we don't need to do anything else. We can now just save this and, oops, okay, so it says right here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just refresh, just to try and get rid of this error first of all. Okay, it goes away. So over here now, if we go to the cart, there's nothing in it because we changed the initial state over here to be an empty set. But now we can add things to the cart. The buttons work. Let's go to the cart. Yep, and they're all in it. Let's remove something and go back to the cart and it's been removed, awesome. So everything still works, but now we're using a generated provider instead. And that's made things a little simpler for us here because we don't have to manually create that provider down here and return an instance of this. 
it's just a little nicer to create it this way, in my opinion. 